Hey there. So today we're gonna to do some collage. We're gonna take some of those random jelly prints that I've been making and I'm going to just do an abstract collage with my color palette, the color palette I live in. A little bit of orange, a little bit of teal, and some black and white. Let's get started. So today I'm gonna to be doing a collage on this six by 12. I'm probably gonna paint this edge black, but this is a Da Vinci Pro Panel. I think I got this at Jerry's Artorama. It's already pre-gessoed, and it has like a, a, a nice uh, surface. It's not too smooth. It says it's medium textured. And I collected a bunch of jelly prints that I, I have some, I have a black and white one. Uh, these are just some random pieces left over from other projects. This was actually just a sheet that I was cleaning off my brayer. Um, I was playing with some photo transfers. This piece right here I love, so I'm definitely gonna use that. And then this was a ghost print of this. So, and I might, I haven't decided yet, but I might utilize these. I mean, I love how all these colors go. We, def we definitely need that pop of red, or possibly orange, or both. <laughs> I don't know. So let's see where it goes. Um, I love, these are my actual masks that I made on my Cricut that I've been using to make jelly prints. And I just love the layers of paint. Even this one has a little bit of the um, texture from my trivet. So I just love the way they look and the colors and the splashes, the little variation of color, especially this side, because it's nice and bright. And it goes with our palette. Now I also have my Catalyst Wedge, important when you're doing collage, and a nice sharp blade. And of course I'm gonna use Liquitex Gel Medium, gloss gel. And I don't have a ruler. Hmm. Okay, I found my metal ruler. I've had this thing for years. I put some tape on the other side to sort of give it a little raised edge. Um, I did this many, many years ago and it's still there. Anyway, I'm going to use some black gesso. And we're going to just, oops, we're going to paint the edge. So I'm using black gesso. It's going to dry very matte. We'll probably put some gloss over it after, but this is raw wood, so I want to seal it. If you enjoy videos about collage and jelly printing, also a little bit of Cricut, I have a Cricut Joy, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so you can see why we want to do this first, because things like this can happen and we, we don't want that on our finished collage. I'm going to be covering over that so it's okay. But if we had already a finished piece of artwork on here and then we decided, we'd have to be a lot more careful um, if we then decided to paint the edge. So paint the edge first. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start by trimming, making a right, you know, like a clean cut here. That's gonna be my edge. And also, I'm gonna try to square this off. why I like to work with a T-square. The 
because this is going to be my bottom corner, I think. Mm, maybe I'm going to cut a little bit of that off. All right, I'm going to cut a little more off. So another nice thing about these, these uh, map boards that you cut is they also have a guide on them, which does help when working with paper. Oops. Okay. So that is going to be my corner. And I'm going to try to cut along here because I really like that edge. And maybe it needs to be a top layer, but I'm not sure. So first, for, to start with, I'm just going to lay things out on the board. We're not going to glue anything down yet. We're just going to see what it looks like and then we'll make some decisions. And I might keep this for something else, who knows. This area in here is kind of interesting because it has some type. So does this. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm also thinking of just using a piece of this across the top. Thinking of giving it an uneven edge. You know, maybe this goes over it, I'm not sure. No. This will go over like that, maybe. Still not sure. I do want to have some of this pattern, but I want it to be very linear. Somewhere. And then I want to have some very rough pieces. Maybe I do want that on the bottom. I think I want some of that. Oh, 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 maybe at the top. Still making decisions. I need a bigger area there.
but I might want some down here. That's what I think I'm missing. A little bit down there. This was on top. Still not sure about that. We shall see. I think what I'm going to do is anchor this down on the side and leave this open so that I can decide what goes on top and what goes underneath. So let's start gluing. I'm going to start with this piece across the top. Trying to get an interesting shape here so that we're not, because I meant to put that underneath, but actually this might be better. Sometimes things happen for a reason. So the other thing with rice paper is you can see through it if there's a strong color underneath. And I kind of like what's happening right here. Okay. I'm letting everything run off the edge and then I will be able to turn it over when it's dry and give it a nice trim. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we need to make just some decisions. Absolutely. Maybe I should use the darker color, but I do love all this that's going on here, so. I will probably have to put some kind of a, something to seal it, or maybe resin, or something like that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to glue it down. I sometimes get very heavy with the gel medium. And I could get away with that because this is Liquitex and I have a great gel medium that actually dries very clear even when you lay it on thick like I'm doing. Just making sure that it's really getting into all of the edges and completely sealed. I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so while I was waiting for this to dry, um, I decided I needed a little piece of red. I need, I need something down here. Just an oddball shape. Stick it right here kind of picks this up. I like that. So, okay. So the nice thing about working on wood is you can cut if you need to. Yep, that's what that needed. Okay, let it dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna trim up the edges. I'm a little disappointed with this little edge here, so I'm gonna to touch that up with a marker. white dot was really bothering me. A couple of little white dots. So what I'm probably going to do is seal this with a little GAC, uh, I can't remember what it is, GAC 200 maybe, and then put a coat of acrylic pouring medium on top of that. That'll make it super glossy and I and it will also keep my um, a little bit of my texture. I don't know if you can see that, but these are a little bit thicker than the rest, so I want it to retain that. Okay, my nozzle's a little bit um, clogged up, so I don't think anything's going to come out, so I'm just going to open. This is GAC 200. This should seal it pretty good. And then I don't have to worry about, um, when I do the gel medium, the pouring medium, it won't uh, seep underneath. This is also good to seal before you do any like uh, resin. If you're gonna pour resin on top of paper like this, you really should seal it first. Okay, we'll let this dry. Okay, so I waited for the um, GAC 200 to dry, and I don't think it needs anything else. I am loving the finish. All my bubbles 
have collapsed. Everything's nice and flat. You see the brush strokes, you see the texture. So I'm, I'm very pleased with this as it is. I'll just uh, gloss up the sides and put a, um, put a hanging thing in the back. Maybe seal up also over here because this uh, black gesso could mark up the wall. So I'm gonna seal that as well and it'll be finished. So I recently created a video that had shades of pink all done on the jelly plate and it's in anticipation of this flamingo video that I'm doing that is going to be mosaic pattern very similar to my style. Check out this video. I'll pop it up on the screen here and I will see you next time. And don't forget, create, inspire and share. Take care. Bye bye.